What a difference one year makes. Last season at this time, U of L was wrapping up its time with the interim head coach David Padgett. Many wondered when the Cardinals would return to the national stage. Well, now as the Cardinals are moving ahead in the tournament, we wondered what Padgett's been up to. He shared his story with Whitney Harding that he's using lessons from last season to find new paths in basketball. Coach Rick Pitino is one of the coaches listed in federal documents. Coach Pitino was effectively fired. ABC is reporting that Coach 2 is Rick Pitino. One of the most successful and controversial coaches in college sports history. What could be next for the University of Louisville? Exactly one hour ago, David Padgett being named the interim head coach. From what I remember, it was a blur. We were all just shell-shocked more than anything. I don't think anybody really had any emotion. And, uh, you know, it was just tough. It, it was a program that you know, was a big part of my life for a long time. and. To see it just kind of come to a screeching halt like that so quickly was was pretty tough. Here we go, here we go. For 32 year old David Padgett, things did not stay at a standstill for long. Go, Darius, go, 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 push it, push it. Suddenly, his life went into overdrive as he took the wheel for Louisville basketball. You know, you sit in a, a chair as an assistant coach for you know, three, four, or five years, whatever it may be, and all of a sudden. You're the one talking before team meetings, before films, so on and so forth. Well, I think the fact that last year was so unique was a good thing because there wasn't a right or wrong answer for how to do things. And so sometimes when you don't have to follow a roadmap and you can just kind of trailblaze yourself, that's not necessarily a bad thing. With everything going on off the court, Louisville still managed to win 22 games that season. And now only a win away from Madison Square Garden. And even found themselves in the NIT quarterfinals. But then the season ended. I don't live in a fairy tale world. As did David's time as the interim head coach. Yeah, obviously, I wasn't overly surprised. I don't think anybody was. But I, I just I wanted to just make sure that everybody knew that you know, we gave it all we had. So for the first time in years, David stepped away from basketball. And then after enough time, he came back to figure out what his future would be in the sport. I had contact with a couple of mid-major athletic directors. Um, you know, it just, it was a tough situation because the FBI thing with all that going on, there was, there was just so much uncertainty and I think a lot of people were afraid to make the quote unquote wrong hire and for obvious reasons. At the end of the day, I know that I didn't do anything wrong, but if other athletic directors were just they're a little afraid to pull the trigger, then hey, I understand it. You know, it's just a tough situation. Shot fake, stepping with our right foot. One, two, shot. So while David isn't coaching a team, he's still sharing his knowledge with players. This fall, he started offering basketball instruction by providing camps along with one-on-one -on -one and group lessons. There you go, good, good. Just to be involved in the game, especially at a young level with kids that just really, really enjoy it. You know, to see them come in here with a smile on their face and the enthusiasm is just, it's very rewarding. And then an unexpected opportunity popped up. Drew Felios along with David Padgett. This basketball season, David has returned to the sidelines, but as a color analyst for ESPN. Eastern Illinois, a team that really prides itself on moving the basketball. You know? It was amazing just to kind of sit there and watch a game and talk about it and you don't really care who wins or loses. It, it was strange. Uh, you know, if that's something that I can kind of turn into, uh, you know, kind of a career on the side, I think it'd be a lot of fun. If the right job came up, we've talked about it a little bit, I mean, would that be something to consider? I think so. Um, you know, it's kind of one of those things, uh, I'll cross that bridge if and when I get to it sort of thing. There's a lot of things I miss. You know, you kind of, once you get that, you kind of get a taste of that uh, competitive bug a little bit. You, you certainly miss it, but, you know, at the same time, it's, um, I'm sleeping a lot better at night. Looking back on it, whether I get back into coaching or not, I'll always cherish that season for the rest of my life. Whitney Harding, WHAS 11 News.